EV box stock analysis. Okay, guys, so we're going to talk about EV box. This is the largest charging network company based in Europe, actually. And currently, they just agreed to do a spat merger with uh, TPG Pace Beneficial Finance, ticker symbol TPGY, guys. So um, before I get into this video, guys, please thumbs up this video if you enjoy uh, seeing stock analysis videos like this. It really helps the algorithm. So let's get right into it, guys. Let's break down exactly what EV Box is and what's going on with this SPAT deal. And then we'll talk a little bit more about where I think the price. Okay, so here we are on EV Box website. So this actually, this merger was announced around 10 days ago so it says ev box group to become public company via business combination with tpg pace beneficial finance and one of the reasons why i'm talking about this company is that if you guys were following my channel for a while you know how bullish i am on charge point but charge point is mainly a north american company so obviously you guys you know i was born in washington dc born and raised so i have quite a bit of money invested in switchback energy that's the spat that's going to merge with charge point but for guys that live in europe you know quite a few of you guys i've been uh, looking at my analytics a lot of you guys i have a quite a few viewers from the uk and other european countries so you guys would probably be interested more in a, this company called ev box so the interesting thing about this company is that it is the largest network in um europe and it is going to close is going to trade as um its own company on the New York Stock Exchange in Q1 2021 under the ticker symbol EVB. So guys, uh, basically, it's basically the European v version of ChargePoint. And according to them, they have over 190,000 charging points across 70 countries. And they have a huge distribution model in Europe, guys. So we're going to talk a little bit more about this company. So it says for over a decade, EV Box has been a pioneer in the electric vehicle charging industry and the electric vehicle charging industry, developing and launching innovative software propositions along with award winning charging stations. We are now scaled for further global expansion to take a leading role in the anticipated acceleration of EV adoption as we work towards a future where everyday transportation is electric, emission free, and sustained by a clean charging infrastructure guys so the guys kind of follow up what i said here you go it's over 190,000 charge points or across 70 countries and this company is growing really fast guys so i don't want to uh hold things up let's jump right into that investor presentation so i actually had to jump around a bit to find the presentation so i'm going to put the link in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself so if we just head over here here we are let's break down this um presentation and let's move through it fairly uh swiftly so as we can see here we reiterated one of the things that kind of stood out for this merger is that ev box is based out of the netherlands so the netherlands is one of the most kind of pro uh, ev countries in the entire world and that's so if you own this stock you're basically getting exposure to uh, another european country country so um you know obviously i talked a lot about how i like a rival stock that one is coming via spat merger probably next year so uh by adding ev box to your portfolio it gives you kind of more exposure and that's a little bit what this channel is becoming about obviously there's a lot of great american companies but i think in the future mainly in 2025 2030 a lot of these other countries uh, we got you know places in europe asia of course africa a lot of these countries are going to see massive growth in gdp growth in their economy and i think it, it would make sense to kind of diversify a bit away from just having 100 percent of your money in american equities but like i said guys do your own due diligence that's just my opinion and one of the interesting things about this company is is that they're projected to do around 200 25 million euros guys so currently the euro one euro is worth about 1.2 us dollars so basically you just take any number you see in euros and you kind of just add 20 percent to it so for example this would be in us dollars this would be you know give or take about 270 million something like that so we just kind of use that metric add 20 percent for us dollar purposes since obviously the majority of you guys over 60 percent of you live in the united states so let's talk a little bit more about this company. So, okay, so one of the interesting things that stood out in this presentation was the fact that TPG uh, has a long history of basically getting involved with high growth companies. So apparently, according to this report, they've been involved with Airbnb, Uber, Spotify, just to name some of the biggest ones. And we all know that Airbnb recently went IPO this year. Spotify has been crushing it. And Uber is actually my largest holding and one of the stocks that I think will be a millionaire maker stock in the future as we get uh, more involved in, in kind of uh, autonomous 
um, taxis and air taxis and stuff like that. So it was really interesting to see this company. And as you can see, it talks more about how you know, the, the electric vehicles is the next industrial revolution. And that's what I've been trying to reiterate so much on this channel. Uh, there's, there's just a huge inefficiency um, when it comes to the difference between ICE vehicles and electric vehicles. So we, we kind of gained on that inefficiency, inefficiency when it came to televisions, computers, um, cell phones, stuff like that. But that inefficiency still exists in cars. So I think this decade is going to be the EV decade. And that's one of the reasons why I'm telling you guys about this company. So as you can see here, they are the largest, largest um, EV charging company in Europe. And according to this report, it says EV sales in Europe are, are expected to grow 19 times by 2030. So that obviously, I think that's very conservative. I think we're going to basically see almost near 100% EV penetration rates within the next 10 to 20 years, simply because not only are EV vehicles good for the environment, but it's just a much cheaper vehicle to run. So here we go. We look at the future uh, revenue projection. So right now the company is estimated to do around 70 million euros. So if we use that same, we would say that's about 85 million US dollars. So according to revenue, ChargePoint is still making a lot more money, but apparently I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why there potentially might be some more upside. But me personally, I like ChargePoint. I think North American uh, markets are obviously bigger and us is the biggest economy in the world so i definitely want to own charge point stock but there is some upside in this company as well so now what i want to do is let's go quickly back down we can take talk a little bit about the ceo so as you can see here here's ceo chris i hope i pronounced this right christoph vernin new uh, obviously it's a dutch name so and as you can see he said we empower forward thinking businesses and drivers to build a sustainable future where everyday transport is electric and emission free by providing flexible and scalable electric vehicle charging solutions guys so basically you know they basically make money similar to the way charge point does uh they sell the hardware which is kind of the things like the charging stations and the flex home chargers and then they also have the software as well where they'll make recurring revenue as you know people they they make money based on kilowatts um, per hour and then they also make money through partnership deals because companies have to continue using the software so this is a really really scalable solution basically as more people get electric cars more people charge and then more people tell their friends and then there's more electric cars and then more people charge so it's just like big flywheel where you're going to constantly see these companies just going and seeing a big big revenue growth and like i said over 190,000 charge points this actually could compete with charge point is one of the biggest in the world but i still think charge point has more growth for the um, um, north american market guys so here's a kind of a look at their products basically uh, they have three different solutions so they have corporate solutions uh, commercial solutions that's for like places like where you would spend money you know um, hotels and stuff like that and then of course they have private charging solutions as well so pretty similar to charge point and kind of the way they make money and things like this and it really talks about the importance of recurring revenue in the business model and that's exactly what charging stations do they provide subscription fees and allows the company to continue to make money and here's a little bit talking more about the flywheel where basically you have more people using uh charging networks more people getting charging uh electric cars and then the thing just keeps spiraling okay so here we look at some projections on kind of the amount of vehicles of ev vehicles that are expected to be sold so currently we're sitting at just around four million vehicles a total and in the next five years that number is looking to increase threefold so just basically guys what i've been saying on this channel for a while we're going to see a lot more electric vehicles around the world throughout this decade and ev box is a great way to kind of play to invest in the european ev trends as well okay so now let's talk a little bit about where these charging stations are so of course this is a dutch company so the majority of their stations are in the netherlands they also have stations in germany france spain portugal uk ireland and the nordic countries as well Denmark, Sweden, and things like that. So basically, the majority of their stations are throughout Europe, but they do ex plan to expand to North America as well to try to compete with ChargePoint. But I think that's going to be a little bit more difficult, and I think this company is basically going to be a European-based company. So obviously, I don't think they have as big of um, you know its global expansion, I think, as ChargePoint does. But uh, obviously, the potential is there. Okay, so now let's talk some more numbers and wrap things up. So as you can see here, the company just continues to deliver more um, charge points. Look where they started back in 2015, just under 30,000. And in just five years, they've grown to over 190,000. So the growth is there, guys. And the company has 
big, big uh, goals for revenue. So I mentioned earlier about $270 million U.S. dollars in revenue projected for 2022. That number is expected to grow to, a, I guess, in U.S. dollars. This would be around uh, maybe like $440 million, something like that, U.S. dollars in 2023. So if there's the company's going to do around $400 and. 30 440 million dollars by 2023 and we were to put a price to sales ratio of around 10 to 20 this would give this company a potential market cap of like 5 billion to 8 billion dollars in the next couple of years and it's currently trading just around 2 billion dollars uh basically because the stock has run up quite a bit Okay, now, so let's talk a little bit about the transaction overview. So when this transaction is done, there's going to be 139 million uh, shares total outstanding. And if you purchase this SPAC, uh, ticker symbol TPGY, uh, SPAC investors are going to own about 25% of this IPO. So to get the current uh, market cap of the company, all you have to do is you multiply the number of shares outstanding, which is 139 million times its current market price, which is around $25. So that would put the current stock at a, a total equity value if the transaction were to close today okay so i multiplied that so that would put this company at around 3.5 billion something like that if the transaction were to close today so it'd be really interesting to see if the stock continues to run up but right now i think there's at least 100 percent upside i would put this company more at like eight billion dollars something like that based on kind of the future revenue projections but we all know that uh you know charging companies are definitely the future and things like that and one of the interesting things about this company is that there's a lot of comparisons with of course charge point but also roku as well and you know so I also, uh, full disclosure, I am a shareholder in Roku stock as well. Okay, guys, so I hope to give you guys a good overview of what's going to take place. So now let's give a future price reduction. Well, like I said earlier, I think this is an $8 billion company. It currently is trading around under $4 billion. So I would say $50 is a nice upside target for this stock, perhaps by next year. Obviously, once the merger closes, the ticker is going to change. There's probably going to be a lot more buying interest. But I think there's at least 100% upside. So one of the things is, is that the stock has already run up a bit. So it was just trading at around ten dollars before the news and as you can see here you know it went from 10 to all the way up to 26 and now it's kind of sitting at around that the key resistance levels of around $27 or, or so. So I still think obviously the run-up is taking a lot of the upside off the table, but long-term, especially for you guys in Europe, you definitely want to try to own EV box stock. Um, the, the merger hasn't even completed yet. It's still trading under a SPAC. So I would definitely get in this if you're Europe. And if you live in the United States, something like that, and you're looking for exposure to some European countries, particular countries like the Netherlands, I think this is an excellent buy. So EV box and charge point, those would probably now those those are definitely my two favorite um, EV charging station stocks. And I think if you have stake in both these companies, I think you're going to make a lot of money this decade. I wouldn't overthink this, guys. Uh, if you have ChargePoint, that gives you North American exposure. You have EV Vox that gives you Europe. That kind of gives you exposure to the two biggest markets. And I'm going to make a video later that comparing both of these side by side to give you guys which one I like more. But personally, you know, since I was born in the United States and I'm more familiar with the North American markets, I'm going to side with ChargePoint. But I like EV Vox as well. So that's going to wrap things up, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash the red subscribe button to receive more videos from me and also be sure to subscribe to my daily stock watch newsletter i post that before the market monday through friday and be sure to uh join in into my private discord chat we can talk more about ev stocks and other stocks that are gonna make us a lot of money so that's it until next time guys take care